Hello, my name is Lewis and I'm going to talk to you a bit about the TXS 0108E logic level shifter. I'll show you what it is, how you use it, and then at the end, I'll show you an example circuit and code for you to try yourself. What does it look like? This is what the TXS 0108E looks like. The chip itself is the black package in the middle that is known as a thin shrink small outline package, recognizable by the plastic casing and the gold wing leads on the side for connectivity. What can it be used for? The logic level converter allows us to interface electronics which use a different voltage level when representing high and low on a wire. The chip acts as a kind of voltage translator between the two devices. It works in both directions and is ideal for safely stepping down 5 volts to 3.3 volts or stepping up 3.3 volts to 5 volts. How does it work? Well, the board is divided into two major halves, the A side and the B side. The ports on A accept a voltage between 1.4 and 3.6 volts. So this is the side to connect your 3.3 volt logic device. The B side will accept voltages between 1.65 and 5.5 volts. So we can attach our 5 volt logic device to this side. There are eight connections available through the shifter. A1 connects to B1, A2 to B2, etc. Two of the remaining connections are VA and VB, both of which are found towards the top of the board. Those are used to signal to the shifter what logic voltage is decided on each side of the board. For example, if one side was connected to an Arduino Uno, we connect the voltage pin to the Arduino's 5 volt pin as it uses 5 volt logic levels. Raspberry Pis use a 3.3 volt logic level, so we would connect the voltage pin to 3.3 volts on a Pi, not its 5 volt pin. For reference, some Arduinos, such as the Dew, use a 3.3 volt logic level, so it's always worth checking. The ground pin should be connected to a common ground on your circuit. The last one is labeled OE, which stands for Output Enable. This acts as a sort of on-off switch for your shifter. When it is low, the pins on both sides of the shifter enter a high impedance state, which basically means that data is not translated across the board. You should tie this output enable to ground through a pull down resistor. This will ensure that the shift register does not start translating logic values until you are ready, at which point you should apply a voltage to this pin and the shifter will start shifting. <laughs> to demonstrate the use of the TXS 0108E logic level shifter, we will connect a Raspberry Pi to an Arduino Uno for serial communication. We will send a message from the Raspberry Pi to the Arduino, which will manipulate the string and then send it back to the Raspberry Pi. Wire the circuit as shown in the wiring diagram shown on screen now and linked to in the description below. But don't connect the wires to the Arduino's TX and RX pins just yet. These pins are shared by the Arduino Uno's USB port, so you may fail to upload the code required for this project if the circuits attached to these pins interfere with the communication. Talking of code, you'll also find a link to where you can download the code for both the Raspberry Pi and Arduino as well as some brief instructions on how to install it on both. You can find a link to that up here in the corner or in the description below. Once uploaded though, don't forget to connect those last two wires to the Arduino's transmit and receive pins that we didn't connect earlier. Once this is done, we can open up a terminal on the Raspberry Pi and run out a Python script we added whilst following the written instructions. It will ask our name, I'll type in Lewis, and this is then sent over to the Arduino, which adds to the string and passes it back to our Pi to display on the terminal. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it useful, subscribe and hit that thumbs up button down below. Otherwise, until next time, ciao for now.
for safely stepping down 5 volts to 3.3 volts or 3 volts bleh, A1 to B1, B2 to no, and is ideal for stepping down safely 5 volts to 3.3 volts or 3 volts. Ah!